Hey everybody, welcome to another Muddy Reviews. Uh, today we are reviewing a kill flash for this uh, ACOG and we're reviewing uh, two separate protectors for these EOTechs. So this is actually my second video. Uh, originally I unboxed everything. I don't think you really need to see this bubble wrap. I don't think you really care. So uh, the reason I'm redoing this is um, I actually had a more of like a first impressions kind of video. Uh, of these items <clears throat> and uh, when I was showing them to you um, this protector installed fine uh, this one wouldn't install and uh, this thing is just what it is I'll explain in a few seconds I got to play though a game with them uh, that following weekend and my impressions are they were fairly negative in the original video anyway um, they've hence are further, further negative. So I decided to reshoot this video and just kind of explain a little deeper and a little further because the comment section actually below, um, goes in a little more detail and I wanted to kind of address some things. So I thought I'd just reshoot the whole video and, uh, just cover everything. So we're going to start with, the, we're going to start with this guy here and we'll move on to these. So let me get these out of the way. So first things first, uh, we've got this ACOG kill flash from um, uh, Fire Force, I think was the name of the damn company. Uh, it's in the description below. Um, I have the link to where I got it and everything. So as you can see right now, uh, it's sitting at a funky angle because when you install it, uh, it does that. It, it kind of leans down. It's supposed to be like this, perfectly flush, but it does not do that. Um, and that, that kind of sucks. I did fix that initially and it was like that all weekend. I took the piece out, um, because I wanted to show you how it actually installs initially. Also, as you see here, um, I have a zip tie on here right now. Um, and the reason behind, reason for that is it comes with this rubber band thing, uh, when you install it, just like a real kill flash. Um, and it broke after about five to 10 minutes of it being on there. It, it just snapped uh, unlike the real ones um but it wasn't uncommon for those to break too and uh, on my ta31 in iraq when i did put a kill flash on there this is actually what i ended up doing i ended up putting a zip tie on there to keep it on instead of the um little rubber band thing because they did have a tendency to rot and break uh where the zip ties were better so i was like well shit i know how to fix that and i zip tied it on but it still is doing this weird angle thing so what I had to do is I had to find a small little piece of plastic or something to shim underneath uh, this little piece right here. And that's exactly what I did. I just shoved it right there. There's a small little gap and I stuck it under there and then it sat completely upright, perfectly fine. Now, mind you, uh, with it at that angle, if I can even get the camera to look through here. Um, it doesn't affect, I really can't get the camera to line it with this stupid eye relief. Um, it doesn't really affect it. You can see through it just fine, but I, it drives me nuts. I, I guess it's my OCD or whatever symmetry. I, I, I it just looks like a limp dick and it drives me crazy. So I like it being upright. So I did shim it. I took the shim out. I'm going to put the shim back in. Uh, I just found a little piece of plastic that fit in there perfectly and it, and it held up just fine. I played... Uh, all week. My son used this one the most uh, all weekend, and it was great. Uh, it took multiple BB strikes. Uh, you can't even tell. As you can see here, there's no damage uh, at all on the uh, honeycombing. So this thing is uh, a good uh, uh, go. Other than this stupid angle bullshit, um, which for a lot of people, that probably won't even be an issue. Uh, most of you probably wouldn't even give two shits about it because uh, it protects your lens. For me, it just drove me nuts. Um, but that's a personal thing. So yeah, uh, as far as protection of your ACOG, it works, it's good. And it, it did as it worked as advertised. And so I would say this is a thumbs up in that re re respect. Uh, it wasn't very expensive. It was like 1199 on Amazon. All right, let's move on to these things. So these things are, um, lens protectors for the EOTechs. And they 
had uh, really mixed reviews on Amazon, and I knew what I was getting into when I got them. I wanted something to try out. Uh, I've been so this is a real EOTech 552. Uh, I've been playing airsoft with this as well as using it for real shooting. Uh, I even I've deployed with it. I've never had an issue with it. I've never had the lens blown out. Knock on wood. Um, in 13 years of playing with this thing. Uh, it's been great. It's been fine. But I was like, you know, maybe I don't t try my luck. It definitely got hit a few times. No real major issues. It's fairly thick. Problem is, it's wavy as all hell. When you look through it, and I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to get this on camera uh, very well. Um, it distorts the image considerably. Now, if you're shooting with both eyes open, it's not horrendous, but it's not good either. It, it's just, ugh. it shouldn't do that. It's for for as much for nine dollars for this product. There should not be a distortion to the image. It should be a nice clear lens. Uh, it shouldn't be this wavy effect distortion bullshit going on. And there is, and that's kind of bullshit. It did install fine on the real EOTech though, so I'll give them that. The second lens was much clearer. There was very little to almost no distortion whatsoever. So I, I will give them props there. So it was a 50-50 because I got two of them. But it wouldn't install on this. This is a Holy Warrior 553 replica. Great EOTech, by the way. Um, this is probably one of the better replicas I've seen. Uh, I have a review to this on my channel. I'll link below in the description if you're curious about it. Um, this guy is very bright for what it is. If I can get the lens, anything to come on. Ah, oh, the batteries are dead. Um, this lens protector would not install on the top. I had to cut this thing you can kind of see here, this little tang here. I had to cut that off uh, of this one with a Dremel and then only just use the side pieces to push it in to press fit it in place on this 553 to protect it so it doesn't really distort the image too greatly going through here but it does still distort it a, a bit not enough to really be a huge distraction but it's still enough to kind of annoy the shit out of me that's a personal thing though um it's still manageable i played i played with it my recommendation on these is no. I, I would say save, save your money. That's like 20 bucks that you could use towards something else. If anything, I would say uh, if you're handy and, and you know you can work a Dremel really well, um, get your get the dimensions of the hood of your EOTech and buy yourself a $3 sheet of Lexan and cut it yourself, do it yourself. And that way, that way you know you have a material that will absolutely protect against a BB strike and be crystal clear. Because this shit is not what they're, they're saying it is. It's some cheap plastic and it's just mass produced crap and it's not good. Uh, so I do not recommend these. I'm going to link to them in the Amazon. So if you're just desperate or if you're like, whatever, dude, I don't trust you. Uh, knock yourself out, man. Spend your 10 bucks. But... Um, I I knew what I was getting into when I got them because I wanted to review these for myself and for the channel and just so you guys out there can to know that uh, the guys on Amazon weren't just being a bunch of whiners. Uh, they were spot on. Uh, these things are not great. And you're, you're really risking it when you buy them because, like I said, it was a 50-50. I got two. One is complete shit and one is mostly okay but still shit. I hope this review was helpful for you guys out there. Uh, for all of you out there looking for uh, EOTech protectors and you don't want that uh, little screen in front of your optic on your rail and you wanted it actually on your optic, uh, these are a bust. Uh, maybe somebody out there will make better ones. Shit, who knows? Maybe I'll start making them and selling them uh, as a thing at some point because these things are so disappointing. As always, appreciate all of you out there. I'm like one away from 400 and that is so crazy. Uh, all of you guys are great. Get out there, play some airsoft. Protect your optics. These things aren't cheap, and it sucks to have one of these things blown out. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.